Carolyn Holden. Today I'm going to be uh, presenting Home Surfing. Um, as the, uh, our last presenter said, you know, you want, really want to save money when you are working with different domain names, and uh, unfortunately, homesurfing.com was taken. Uh, so uh, I decided to also cut costs um, by um, uh, deleting, you know, some words. Um, I think maybe .ml might have been a better idea. I wish I had thought of that uh, before I purchased the domain names, but here we are. Um, we're just going to have to deal with it. So, hi. Um, before we really dive in, uh, I, I have something I need to admit to you all, which is uh, I'm not an engineer. I am not a product person. Um, I, I'm actually a retired comedian. Um, the fact that I'm here today is just hilarious, probably more so than my entire career. And I, uh, I built everything on my own on Figma, taught myself everything. So, you know, my product isn't going to be as flashy. It's also not going to be nearly as important um, as <laughs> some of the things you've already seen today will probably see, see past us. The fact that I'm here is, I, 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 Maria, I think you've made a mistake. I, uh, but, but, you know, we're just going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to roll with this. So um, as we get started, um, before I really start showing things around, I have a few questions for you. Um, this is actually a pop quiz. Um, this is mini demo uh, back to campus. After all, you're going to be graded. All right, so I need you to participate by raising your hand very enthusiastically. If you are wimpy about it, I will call you out. Um, so let's get started. So my very first question for you is, um, has anybody in this room ever looked at a home listing online for sale or for rent? Please raise your hand very high. Okay, amazing. Are you all getting this? Great, great. Okay, my next question is, is there anyone in this room who has ever moved somewhere, perhaps somewhere that you didn't live before and you didn't know exactly what neighborhood or like where to move or what the process was? Anybody? Please raise your hand. Amazing. Are you guys all getting this? A lot of people move. This is a thing that people do. Now my last question, and I know you guys are out there, but I know it's not everyone. So if you are one of these people, I need you to raise your hand. Okay? My last question for you is, are there any people out there who like to look at real estate for fun. <laughs> Amazing, great work, everybody. You get a 91%. That's enough to like let your parents be relieved and let you go home. All right, I'm so proud of you. So um, today, I'm here to talk a little bit about real estate. And the reason why is because real estate apps and websites are just really out of date. Okay? They're all structured the exact same way. They've got the map, they've got the list of all the homes that's completely disorganized. Nobody knows what's going on. Um, and if you are a local and you know, oh yeah, I want to live uh, next to Lake of the Isles, great, cool, done, you're set, you don't have to do anything else, you just look at the map, right? But if you're moving to a new place, that's not very useful. So, um, and on top of that, you know, super users, of these real estate websites, all of you guys, all you guys who really love homes, right? Um, there's no way to really engage on those platforms. And there are millions of super users of apps like Zillow, Truly, Realtor.com, et cetera, who go onto Twitter and TikTok and YouTube and Facebook to talk to each other about things that they found on Zillow, okay? They're leaving Zillow to talk about what they found there. So, um, that's why we're here. So this is, this is Home Surfing. Home Surfing is a real estate app that's designed kind of like Tinder or a Hinge. <laughs> okay, so um, basically users are able to swipe through listings like the homes they've liked, you know, they got a crush on or something. Um, leave comments and feedback for improvement. Uh, maybe even roast a few homes uh, that are just like a little funny or like a little completely outrageous, ridiculous and whatnot. Um, and this is how it works. You guys ready? So say you are on the app and you are ready to look at homes and you're like, okay, well, I don't really want to like create an account right now. I don't want to log in. We're just going to explore. So you're going to hit explore. 
Uh, but, and you're like, okay, I can put in like where I want to look. We're just going to skip that. We can put in price range if you're interested. I don't know, let's just skip that. Um, you can add in like anything else that you're potentially interested in, but we're just going to skip that for now. And, uh, and you're able to swipe through home. So we've got this one here. We've got that one there. And like, you know, I want to take a look at like some of these photos, right? So, like, check this out. Oh, look, this house is so beautiful. Look, pretty windows. I'm going to like it. What are other people talking about? Ooh, look at these comments. Got to love it. Right? So, um, you know, that's not everything. And we we're putting in safeties here, right? Like, we're making it so you can write mean, super mean comments. I mean, like, you know, racially, uh, and anything like that, we're cutting out. But, um, you know, we have this little roast button, this little flame button here. Um, you only get a few roasts a month, so you have to really cast your roast wisely. And this is for homes that are like, say, have too much taxidermy, or is a castle built in Connecticut in 2010, or, you know, is actually a dog. <laughs> for users. Um, we are hoping to launch sometime this, uh, maybe later this summer or fall. Uh, so keep an eye out for us. And if there's any, uh, you know, investors in the room, I'm not ready for you yet. But I will be soon, so I would still love to meet you. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you.